This is Brian from EngineNerds.org. In behalf of Chemical Engineering Philippines, I would like to welcome you to our general chemistry course. This is a very broad and very interesting course to study and explore. From this day onwards, up to the completion of the course, we will be helping each other to understand the wonders of chemistry. So, without further ado, let us begin this wonderful journey together. Students often ask, why do we need to study chemistry? Why is it so important that sciences and engineering is basing on it, in many aspects of in their studies? To appreciate the study of chemistry, students should understand how chemistry is playing a great role in the daily processes in nature and in the universe. Chemistry has done so many things, not only in improving the standards of living, but also in understanding the universe. All things can be classified as matter, or energy including the stars and the planet. Chemistry has classified these matter according to its physical state as solid, liquid, gas or plasma. Chemistry has also classified matter according to nature of composition as element, compound or mixture. Chemistry can help us to understand nature. However, one needs to be a professional chemist, or scientist to enjoy natural phenomena. Nature and its beauty, its simplicity within complexity, are for all to appreciate. Chemistry is all around us in our daily life. The food we cook and eat, the clothes we wear, the air we breathe, the medicines we take, the plants in our backyards and the books, notebooks, and pens that we use at school. Chemistry is the science principally concerned with materials which scientists call matter. Chemistry deals with the study of matter, its composition, physical, and chemical properties, physical and chemical changes, as well as the energy changes, that accompanies these processes. A chemist, is a person who studies the composition, structures and properties of matter and finds explanations to these changes. Chemistry is a broad science, and it has been divided into several special fields. The following summarizes the branches of chemistry and the concerns of each of these branch. Organic Chemistry Organic chemistry is the study of carbon and its compounds. Among the carbon compounds studied by organic chemists are plants and animal tissues, petroleum, carbohydrates, proteins, plastics and rubber. It is the study of the structure, properties, composition, reactions, and preparation of carbon-containing compounds. Most organic compounds contain carbon and hydrogen, but they may also include any number of other elements such as nitrogen, oxygen, halogens, phosphorus, silicon and sulfur. Inorganic chemistry Inorganic chemistry is the study of elements and compounds that do not contain carbon. These includes metals, halogens and alkalis. Analytical chemistry Analytical chemistry is the science of obtaining, processing, and communicating information about the composition and structure of matter. It determines the identity or kind, and quantity, of each element or compound present in the substance. Quantitative analysis is concerned with identifying the kinds of elements or compounds in a sample. While quantitative analysis indicates the amounts of the elements present. The techniques of analytical chemistry includes the use of spectroscope, the mass spectrograph, the X-ray tube, ultraviolet fluorescence, and radioisotopes. Physical chemistry Physical chemistry is the application of physical methods to the study of chemical problems. Included in this field are atomic and molecular structure, theory of reaction rates, mechanism of reactions, chemical equilibrium, energy change in reactions, theories of solids, liquids, gases, plasmas and solutions. Biochemistry Biochemistry is the study of the chemical composition of living matter and of the chemical processes that occur in living organisms. This field is particularly important in agriculture, biology, bacteriology, pharmacology, medicine and dentistry. Chemical Engineering 
Chemical engineering is a combination of chemistry and engineering, that improves or develops industrial processes, for making commercial amounts of desirable chemicals that have been produced only in small quantities, or in the laboratory. To res are the main fields of chemistry that we can explore for now. There are other fields of chemistry out there such as nuclear chemistry, electrochemistry and colloid chemistry. Besides being a science in its own right, chemistry is the servant of other sciences and industry. Chemical principles contribute to the study of physics, biology, agriculture, engineering, medicine, space research, oceanography, and many other sciences. On the next lesson, we will be discussing more about matter and energy. So, with all of that and more, I will see you in our next lesson.